hi guys welcome to my channel welcome to ruthie's nugget today i'm going to talk about something very 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 educative today but first if you have yet to subscribe hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so when i post another video you'll be the first to watch all right guys so i'm going to talk about one way just one one thing to boost your mental health as much as we take care of our body, our, our physical body and everything we eat, always ensure that we are mindful of what we keep in our minds and our brain. So I'm just going to talk about something that I did some, some months back that helped and you know boosted my mental health. So then I realized I was getting distracted. I was always on my phone every time. I was so distracted. Like, I even forgot about my goals, things that I want to do and everything. So what I was able to do was, I went offline for seven, yeah, seven, seven days. Deleted my social media apps for seven days. No Facebook, no Instagram, no WhatsApp, no um, Telegram, you know. Everything that I know that was distracting me, I took it off for seven days. Now tell me why did I do that? Yes, I said earlier I was distracted, so distracted. Maybe I get back from work, even at the, at the office I was always pressing my phone. Maybe I get back from work, I was just, you know, I was just having random communications. I was just wasting my time, obviously. And then I had to go offline. Now, now I'm going to say this: if you are making your money through social media, through WhatsApp, through Instagram, please don't do this. Don't say I'm the reason why you are broke. Please do not do this. I'm talking to people that are always online being distracted. If you're making your money through social media, you know please do not go offline. You'll be hungry. <laughs> but then if you're not and you know that you're getting distracted, please guys do well to always know that social media breaks are so 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 important. Now I didn't mind for seven days because I usually do it for one day, two days. Please do not do what you're not capable of doing. Even if it's 30 minutes you want to start with. That was 15 minutes, one hour, two hours. Before you know, you just tend to, you know, lose this grip in between you and your social media influence. You're always happy. All right. So these are things that I want to share. Some some little little things that you should do and you should not. Now the first, do not, do not announce on your WhatsApp. Hi guys, deleting my app soon. Don't miss me. Who are you announcing to? So that everybody will be looking for you and pity. Oh, why are you going offline, please? If you're serious about this thing, you don't need to announce to the world that you are going offline. Yes, there's some people you need to talk to, your family members. You also don't think you're depressed or something. Because I actually got that. I, I did not tell people I was going offline. I, I got that you know, feeling like people thought I was depressed, something was wrong with me. I was fine, but I just needed a break. So do not announce to people that oh, I'm going offline. Guys, please don't miss me. Mm -hmm. But when you start announcing it, obviously, you might not even get to, you know, the purpose might not, might not be there. Now, next thing to do is, at least ensure that you know why you are going offline. Please, if you are going offline to, to seek pity party, sorry, nobody's going to miss you. You are going offline because you want that crush of yours to miss you. It's not going to miss you. <laughs> pity party is not going to miss you. So ensure to know why you are going offline. If you are going offline for sake of pity, for you want people to, to you know get to understand that you're absent. I've been absent for some time that people didn't even know I was absent. Even when I'm going through some issues, people don't know. You don't need to show your all your 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 life like on social media, make people pity you. Know why you are doing it. Are you doing it to seek pity? Or you are doing it for your mental health, just to boost your mental health. If you are doing it to seek pity, you won't get it. because after day one or day two, you are running back online and there was a purpose but if you are doing it for your mental health you know that yes i'm supposed to you know to stay back okay now the third thing is do not waste your time while you're offline hmm. you have gone offline now one day what did you do what have you achieved i'm not putting pressure on you right but do not do not understand why you are going offline so if you are going offline for the sake of you for the purpose of your mental health do what to boost your mental health Talk to your family and friends that you can see around you. Talk to your neighbors. Talk to your friends around. Give them a call. Send text messages. If that's what will help you, you know, to boost your mental health. Read the Bible. Connect with God. Do certain things that you know that, oh gosh, I've been lacking out on this area. I need to do better. Start doing that. Your skill sets. Your courses on Udemy that you have not, you know, 
country you not done why what are you waiting for what are you waiting for okay so always ensure that while i'm while i'm offline i'm going to do what things to keep me busy because trust me guys boredom is certain to creeping and then i remember one day i came back from work and i was so bored i wanted to go online i just told myself root is not today it is not just today calm down i had games on my phone i can't do crush was was my lifesaver I had games on my phone, I had my Bible to read, I had people to talk to, and you know, it was just, it was just beautiful. It was not easy at first, but it was beautiful. And I also, also know, the fourth thing you should know is, find another means of communication. So I'm not saying you should blank out totally from people. I still kept my LinkedIn on, because that was one way I could connect to some people that was not distracting me. So I'm not saying you should just blank out totally, no. Have airtime on your phone to call people. Ensure if you want to use text messages, you reach out to people. Please do that. We still have text messages. We have, you know, what is it called? We have um, phone calls. Make phone calls. You know, talk to people. Don't don't just blank out on them totally. I'm just after you not be too addicted on your Instagram, WhatsApp, you know, everything. But the other means to communicate to people, of course, you can call them on the phone. You know, when you call people, it does this vibes you get. So it's always always better than chatting call people on the phone and sure to reach out to people and if you notice somebody has gone offline for you know a few days and you notice we always try to reach out to them call them on the phone send them text messages try to know why what's happening in their life okay so don't just you know blank people out totally like that don't just you know go offline on people you need to call them get, let them know that yes you are fine and the last thing i'll say is because you are bored depression might set you know you might be thinking of certain things that has not worked out now find those negative thoughts into positive why do i say so those times you used to you know be on instagram laugh out. <laughs> sometimes you are not um, consuming good content into you are consuming negative content e.g things like comparing yourself to people seeing that everybody's better than you online and everything at that time that your your mind is so free devil might actually bring in negative thoughts to you so what i just say is try to work on those your thoughts convert them to positive thoughts so instead of you sucking around crying you know, sitting down with a person to call you finding pity party here and there all i just tell you is just take your time take your precious time and know that okay my negative energy i'm going to, cons to turn into something very very positive something something so positive and then she trust me your mental health that was zero percent before just you know boost. so by the time you come back online you're a different person and you, then you already know that with all that social media you can live with other social media people you can also live so i'm just going to say this if you're making your money online please don't take don't do this hmm? do not do this well, it's only for people that are distracted always they're forgetting their goals they're forgetting what they're supposed to do people that are getting very very addicted but if you know you're making your money online please stay online and make this money make this money okay all right so always know the reason why you're going offline and stop seeking pity party oh guys let me see my app soon this and that or then you're coming back online and like who missed me huh did i make that mistake not really what i'll just say is if you don't want to start with seven days it's a long time you can also only start with 30 minutes one 30 minutes one hour two hours one day two day and it just depends on how you know frequent or how mentally stressed you are so that is one way to boost your mental health okay so guys what have you learned from this and if you have other tips on you know um social media breaks and you other things that you just observe what you feel like doing just do what to drop in the comment section always share to your friends and family and also guys i want to challenge you today you're watching this video and you feel like hmm, this is for me i think i need to do this how about you give it a try trust me it's a very very good experience okay give it a try and you would you just you enjoy yourself you get to know who you are better thank you guys for watching see you in my next video bye